Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on August 25th, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and a look at world weather. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, very large, darkened coronal hole and as well sunspot coming in on the southern hemisphere huge plasma filaments erecting from the surface there and a fast forming sunspot yet again in the incoming positions so we do have a lot of activity on its way over the next couple days and we've seen things dramatically increase over the past 24 hours looking at the last 48 hours incoming there's that fast forming sunspot firing away we had about five or six C-class flares and an M-class flare just recently. Especially in the outgoing position here. And that is set to give us a glancing blow as it produced a coronal mass ejection. Having a quick look here at that huge sunspot region in the southern hemisphere. And as well that newly formed sunspot there cresting in so heads up everybody we're going to see some more activity this week having a look at multi-spectrum here look at the energies taking off from the sun especially on the left hand side which is the incoming position and as well on the bottom right hand side watch for that m class solar flare there quick look at 193 angstroms black Whole region there, large coronal hole ahead of the sunspot, and as well another one coming in behind it. Now most times we are affected by coronal holes when they are in the equatorial region. We'll see if that one stays in the southern hemisphere. Having a look at the solar x-ray flux, as I said, many C-class flares today as everything ramped up. Solar proton flux, steady geomagnetic activity remains low but we do have possible radio signal failures and interruptions today with the frequency absorption map here having a look we were zapped all day long today especially the height there around 2 p.m 4 p.m eastern time looking at our real-time solar wind we're sitting at 348 kilometers per second now but it jumped up a couple times there over 500 kilometers per second. So yeah, we are steady now at 350. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral, yellow dot is Earth. As you can see, coronal mass ejection set to give us a glancing blow into the 28th and 29th. Schumann resonance for today, a power of 24 and blackout meaning no readings for a little bit there, but you can see spiking during the day. Amplitude of 24, quality of 8.6, and a power of 12. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it's been steady, uh, slightly above average. We're sitting at about 300 earthquakes across USGS, but no large earthquakes, and we're expecting something here. Largest was a 5.1 Kuril Islands, Pretty deep earthquake here off the coast of Japan, 382 kilometer depth, as well activity through China, and as well Myanmar, 4.9 yesterday, as well Dota, India, 4.1, Indonesia saw quite a few earthquakes the past couple days, a 6.2 the other day, and then the deep Deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 501 kilometer depth, Tonga region. Increasing activity through Hawaii. And as well, lots of activity increasing through Alaska. Energy seems to be bouncing from California to Alaska right now with minor seismicity. Strongest throughout the day through California was the 3.3 here in Borrego Springs, California. But literally, there are minor earthquakes all across up the San Andreas fault line right now. Having a look at USGS showing all of the minor activity, especially west of the Sultan Sea. And as I said, straight up the San Andreas fault into San Francisco Bay and increasing 
minor activity here in the Pacific Northwest. St. Helens reporting a couple minor earthquakes and as well Rainier in Ashford, Washington. Quick look here at just the past 24 hours as they're reporting over 300 earthquakes. Lots of activity through the Caribbean plate as well. San Antonio, Puerto Rico still shaking today. Way too quiet through South America. And that is a look at the past 24 hours of earthquakes across the world. Yesterday, we did have three pretty deep earthquakes, 549 kilometer depth there. And as well, the deepest here, 590 kilometer depth. That was reported late yesterday. Quick look at the last seven days across the world. Take a moment and say thank you to everybody for following along in this channel and as well tuning in tonight. Keeping humanity aware and prepared with daily events worldwide. Updates on earthquakes and volcanoes. And as well, world weather and space weather. That's the last seven days for earthquakes. Have a plan and be ready for anything. Our world changes every day, every moment. And will continue to do so. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery and as well most recent volcanoes getting updated. Shevelich in Russia, Fuego, Guatemala, Ebuco in Russia, Ibu in Indonesia, Sebenkaya in Peru. A lot of fire alerts here across South America. Nevada, Staru is Colombia, Raventador in Ecuador, Semeru, Indonesia, Sangay in Ecuador. There's about 180 alerts here, and there are a lot of fires breaking out across the Amazon right now, South America, Africa, Northwest Territories, Canada. Quick look here at the satellite imagery across the world, over the Pacific Ocean. We have one tropical storm to talk about. Still, tropical storm Tokage is alive. It ramped up to a Category 3, but it is now fizzling out heading northward. Monsoon rains continue through Thailand, Mumbai, and westward into India. Massive flash floods being experienced there. And as well, flash floods across central parts of Africa, as they have seen some heavy downpours the last little bit after a pretty dry spell. Let's get to weather here, brought to you by Ventusky, and as well, daily events worldwide, some stormy conditions north of us here in Ontario. So central Ontario, seeing a swath of moisture and thunderstorms heading northward. Long range forecast, there is a cooling trend, but not before this long system here drenches most of the east coast and up into Atlantic Canada. Pretty strong cell moving in there. Long line of moisture here through the Atlantic and as well, lots of moisture moving in for parts of northern BC and as well the prairies this week. Saturday into Sunday, watch for a big system to head across the prairies and then over into the states. But watch the BC forecast here the next few days. Big low off the coastline there, bringing days after days of rain. And then watch for that low to switch its directions and go down the coastline or possibly merge with another low and go towards Alaska. So stay tuned. We will give you be, we'll be giving you daily updates. Overlooking the Gulf here. In the long range forecast, there is one tropical system here developing through Haiti. But most likely will be a West Gulf tropical storm affecting Mexico and southern Texas. But pretty stormy conditions throughout the central regions right now. And that's a look at weather across North America the next few days. I wanted to give you a quick show here. The temperatures as well as there's a quite a heat wave moving out of Alberta and is going to slowly move eastward. But this might be the last heat wave we're going to experience for a while. As there is a low coming out of Hudson Bay gaining a lot of energy and some pretty cool temps behind it. 
Back to weather here, overlooking South America. No major systems affecting you in the long range. Daily evaporation rains northward and stormy conditions through Buenos Aires, Argentina. And a very saturated equatorial Atlantic right now. Pretty strong systems coming off of at the African coast this week. But again, no major tropical systems here developing into any major hurricanes. Overlooking Africa. Next little while, still watch for torrential downpours here and there. Daily evaporation rains. Overlooking Europe. Low pressure center north of Finland. Going to bring down a wave of moisture and a possible another low there developing over Poland. Overlooking Southeast Asia, tropical system heading into parts of northern Thailand. And that's going to track westward through Myanmar and then into India. Other than that, no major cyclones developing for the region. Long range forecast not showing any major storms. Overlooking Australia, not much changing until this weekend, Saturday into Sunday, and Monday into Tuesday in parts of Southeast Victoria. I hope you enjoyed today's video, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Thanks for watching. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily due. Bye-bye now. Prayers for humanity. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.